This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into hour number three. You dial in. You bring up anything. 800-259-9231. That is the SACL CAI toll-free line. Joining you tonight, it's Ian here with you. And Sam. And Mark. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com. All the features are completely free. So enjoy those. Uh, Again, freetalklive.com. Mark, you've been hanging on to an email for a while here, and uh, now is as good a time as any to get to it. It's uh, about conspiracies. Yeah, it's uh, actually a pretty well thought out email uh, from a, a fella here, and um, I, you know, I thought it was worth reading. And it's a it's conspiracy uh, uh, sort of email, but uh, let's go on. So it's from Peter, and he says, "Please share my comments with Ian or anyone else, uh, one else you think might be amused or intrigued." I'm shooting this email off in a fit of frustration and very quickly, so please understand if I'm not perfectly co- cogent. I okay. love your sh- I love your show and listen nearly daily, but it reminds me of when I used to listen to the anti-war radio and the wonderful Scott Horton. I used to say, um, like I say used to because I don't do it any longer. It's sad because as um, as in the case with your show, I agreed with roughly 95% of what Scott was discussing. Unfortunately, his attitude towards the event of nine, events of 9-11 were so backwards and off-base that I sent him an email for the first and only time. Um, I wrote that I wouldn't be able to continue listening in good conscience unless he began to shed a little bit of his arrogant atti- attitude towards those in pursuit of the truth surrounding events of 9-11. His reply was, see ya, if I recall. <laughs> <laughs> good there, for him. And there you have it. Now, this guy's you know, being very good about this email, uh, in, in this email, and he's sort of taking a, a wry look at himself while he you know, mm-hmm. talks about what he believes in. And I, I think that's a, a great place to be coming from and a great way to talk to people. Um, you know, whereas when somebody gets an email, as, you know, when a show host gets an email where it says, I'm not going to listen anymore unless blah, blah, blah. Okay. Adios. I like that's all. That's all. Like that. What do you say? You say the same thing. I sort of, I sort of feel the same way. Like I can't change my opinion. There are because plenty of, of shows your out there. Opinion. Right. There are plenty of shows out there that are going to pander to your opinion right. and make you feel good. And that's and that's really um, how I feel on on this subject in general. Is Free Talk Live provides a service, and that service is talking about you know liberty and a uh, very um, we provide an open phones uh, panel discussion. So you can call yep. about anything. You can. However, we won't always agree with you though. <laughs> right. And we we do not we do not claim that we're going to agree with you and what kind so, of a show would it be if we did right it, it'd be an open lines show where people that's call a great go, call thank you so much <laughs> next caller <laughs> and it's just like that so um you know we provide a show and there are the shows out there that will talk about 9-11 for you oh, that's are there? what you have so they'll talk about it for three hours straight Today, Tuesday, the, even though it's almost been ten years, <laughs> three ten oh nine. I'm listening to your response to a gentleman calling in to discuss the Masons. Ian's first reply <laughs> comment from those uh, from both of you and Nick that followed were ugly and disrespectful. Now, also that particular show, we were on location and mostly doing interview type stuff. Were we? Okay, yeah, that was uh, at the uh, Liberty Forum. Gotcha. So. But, you know, the Masons, this Mason thing, I mean, why does everybody want to go after the Masons? I just don't understand it. To me, they're a nice civic group. No, uh, the 10th was not the Liberty Foremost. It was afterwards. That was after it? Yeah, it was a Tuesday. Was I still there? Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm wrong then. Fine. I yeah. can admit that. The um, the Masons, uh, you know, they're just a civic group that helps people. I swear. I mean, they maybe have some secrets, but maybe I'm wrong. But that's what I believe. And t- t- to me, it's just going after a, a group. I mean, why not go after the Boy Scouts? Uh, why not go, and go after the Women's Auxiliary? W- why, you know, why go after the Masons? So anyway, now please uh, allow me to explain why the group, uh, uh, the group of you might benefit from exploring some of these conspiracy theories oh a bit further. All right. First, it does, um, does one no harm to delve into these subjects and absorb and dismiss the information presented. That is the most... Well, uh, it does do me harm because I've got other things I'd rather spend my right, time on. It does on. do me harm because I spend, believe it or not, Peter, all day doing the, you know, handling advertising and sales for this show. So therefore, my family is fed by doing that. And I just don't, in my, then my evenings caught up by this. And, you know, I, I am not interested in spending the little bit of free time that I get at pa- post 1030, uh, digging into the, uh, the, 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 you know, the, 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 the evil administrations stuff. of the Ma- Freemasons. You know, I, I know he's going to go on and we'll get to it, but mm-hmm. uh, I have looked into some of this stuff in yep. the past. 
I have looked at, you know, the, oh, if you look at the dollar bill and you fold it the right way, there's uh, the Twin Towers and you can see the airplane or, you know, uh, the the pentagrams in Washington, D.C. You, you can owl. spend, yep. yeah, you can spend all kinds, all the Illuminati symbolism and uh, et cetera, et cetera, that they've put into the uh, you know, Washington, D.C. I'm just giving you two examples of some of the uh, the, cr- the crack pottery that, g- that goes on in the fringe conspiracy movement. And yes, I have looked into it but uh, but it's never enough for these people it's never enough that i have already spent some time looking at this nonsense and i've written it off as nonsense it's because i didn't dig deep enough i didn't dig far enough i didn't do enough research because you don't agree that's all yeah and um you know it's, it's called disrespect when you don't agree I, th- th- this is this is sort of where it often comes from. No, I'm. If you call in and you disrespect a group that to me doesn't re- doesn't deserve disrespecting, I'm I, it, I'm going to disagree with you if and you disrespect a group that doesn't deserve disrespecting. One more time. If you disrespect a group that doesn't deserve disrespecting, whether that group is the the okay. um, you know fraternal order of odd fellows or yeah. uh, you know the Lions Club, you you pick the group. Yeah. And if you Loose lodge, if you if you say they're a bunch of bad people that are ruling the world and sacrificing babies to, to owl gods yeah like i'm gonna no i don't believe you and i don't think it's okay that you just get on the air and say it that's and what, how i feel right and even if it's true that there i mean it may be true that some of the masons are uh the power mongers in ta- in whatever the areas are that they live in the influential people uh, many people in government may also be masons that may all be true but it doesn't mean that everyone who's a mason is a is a bad person uh it's like everybody that smokes pot doesn't go on to uh, snort cocaine i know a pretty high level mason he claims that that's not what it's um, what's going on there. I believe him. And even if it's true that it, once you get up to the thirty third tier of masonry or whatever the highest tier is, that that's when they let you in on all the the evil secrets. That what does that mean in reality? If that's even true, how does that affect what we're doing today? How does it, should I go to the uh, Masonic Temple Building here, where Cheshire TV is located in in Keene, New Hampshire, and set the uh, second story on fire? Is that going to stop the Masons? I mean, what is the suggestion that one does about this? Should I get out in Central Square and hold signs every Saturday, uh, you know, letting people know that the Masons are in control and they're the ones? That, what is the what is the uh, the, the steps? What are the steps that one could take in reality to do something about this situation? And don't tell me, well, you could take DVDs and show them to your friends. No, well, well here's That's what, what you they can always do. say: you can turn your nationally syndicated radio show into, into a crackpot yet fest. another. Um, I mean, you know, fringe pu- fest. Another pu- pu- pulpit for uh, people that want to talk about, you know, this stuff. And you, you mean I could turn myself into that? Because that's what they want, right? right? Thereby marginalizing the show and uh, you know yeah. making it so that the people that get to hear this 95 percent that Peter agrees with no longer get to hear it. You're right. This is I I say the biggest problem problem with those who believe in liberty and those who believe in the fringe conspiracies is that no one listens to you once you start talking about the, the slee stacks bringing down the, the 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 trade center towers and how the you know the whatever it is whatever your crazy conspiracy sounding thing is that's when people stop listening. Yeah, I, I watched Alex Jones's latest documentary that's out on YouTube. And the Obama deception. Yes. Yeah, so very that. good. Some of my footage is in there. And even at the Dallas Fed um, in the Fed protest, he mentions 9-11. I cut it out of my video in the editing mm-hmm. because, you know, I just didn't want to cover that subject. And it got a lot more views, I think, than some of his other ones related to the same subject. And that film did the same thing. It, it didn't really cover the 9-11 issue. It did talk about, you know, the the. Uh, Bilderberger group and so forth and I thought it did a great job of kind of really connecting the dots and doing some things where I disagree with Alex Jones is he wants to go after the people who are using the apparatus of government to enslave people I want to go after the apparatus of government because he believes that cleaning up uh, he's not striking the root yeah he he's wanting to go after these people and thinking that well if we just get rid of them if we can just you know clean these people up and, and, and get them in jail, these are criminals, then it'll all be okay and this won't happen again. But I know better. I know that if you have yep. this monopoly right. on force that somebody's going to get in there and use it to their advantage and it's just going to end up in the same place. You know, I thought his last film was, was pretty good as well. The um, state one. What now? With the police state one? Uh, there was a few police state okay. ones that he did. But anyway, um, I, I actually tried to get him as an interview for the show and it kind of mm-hmm. went nowhere. 
And I don't know if I was contacting the right person, but it seems like you know somebody who's on email, the inside. Yeah. Let's see if we can get him on maybe when you're on the show. And Because and, I think like he's he does a great job of talking about the police state, yes. and he points yep. out how corrupt everything is. But the problem is he is his solution. I think we should have him on to talk about solutions. And I'd, I'd really be interested in that. And okay. plus, people have been asking forever for us to have Alex Jones on this show. More on the way. You bring up whatever you want. This is Free Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live. Only moments remain. Just enough time for your call. If you make it right now, 800-259-9231. That's the SACL CAI toll-free line. It is Ian here with you. And Sam. And Mark. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com. The features are free, so enjoy those on us. Again, freetalklive.com. If you like the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, you can shop with us at amazon.freetalklive.com. When you enter Amazon through that link, Free Talk Live will get a percentage of your purchase. So whatever it is you need to buy, they've got got dozens of categories and even used items so if you need to save a few extra bucks i mean they've already got some great new prices but if you need to save a little bit more go used and free talk live will still get a cut if you enter through amazon.freetalklive.com now we started this hour out with an email it was from somebody who was i guess trying to relay his feelings about how we handle the conspiracy callers the uh, the fringers that call in and try to recruit us into their movement uh, where they like the show generally but they don't like the fact that we're skeptical when it comes to uh, some of these conspiracy theories or maybe even less than skeptical maybe just blowing them off and basically saying hey it doesn't matter to us maybe it's true all right. of the things that you say but it doesn't affect what we're doing now to advance liberty in our lifetime you know that's that that's essentially where we come from so let's continue so, the Peter email. goes on uh, more importantly i've very much recommend that you contemplate the following just by chance, at age 38, two years ago, I was suddenly convinced that something fishy was going on with regard to 9-11. I could have been any conspiracy. It could have been any conspiracy or alternative view. It doesn't matter. The effect on me was like a rebirth of sorts. That opened the door to a near flood of information that I previously thought was insignificant. Well, there's a lot of information out there on the internet that you may or that you can choose or not choose not to believe. So it's it, like it, they're, it's contrary information. You just sort of have to take what you believe and go with it. You know, no, you have to spend hours sorting through all of it. Yeah, and you'll still not know because well, there, what I'm hearing people. him say there is that he came across this conspiracy theory and it was like you know it washed over him. This realization came to him that he'd been you know misled or whatever, and that led him to X, Y, and Z and to where he is now. And that's great if that was your path to where you are today. Then I mean I can't deny that for you. And I, I great whatever it took to get you to where you are. That's great if where you are is in in, in that is. If where you are is that you believe in liberty, great. Uh, whatever the doors were for you, that's your business. But those aren't the doors that I want to present to people. Those, that's not the message that I find persuasive. It's not the message that I want to share on my national radio show. Now, you can call in and talk about any cra- you know, crazy stuff that you want to on this show. But as far as bringing me on board with it, that's just not happening because I've got enough concrete evidence that the government is evil that i don't have to speculate i don't have to talk about uh, backdoor secret meetings i don't have to talk about all of the conspiracy stuff everybody knows that uh, the government's evil that's why they say poli- if you know a politician's lying by their lips moving you really don't have to convince people no, but of they, that. okay well they may think the government is evil currently but they think they can change it right they think they can change it to be what a else, good government. what other option is there in their mind They've never considered it. Well, that's what we give them on this show, alternative options. And uh, and I think that the, it's those presentations, concrete, realistic presentations of why government is bad and how we can solve those problems that can do that same thing. It can wash over people and the realization can come to them, oh, my gosh, I've been wrong this whole time. I believed all of this stuff that the government told me. It turns out it wasn't true. And I think it's much more persuasive than having to get people to take essentially a leap of faith or go and spend 500 hours researching something. Over the past two years, I've learned many, uh, that many individuals that make up the so-called conspiracy enthousi- enthusiasts or 9-11 truther group are, in fact, brilliant individuals with outstanding credentials and powers of deduction, even diligent in fact-checking. I've always prided myself on believing in nothing as the primary belief system to carry me through the journey of life. So I hope that others take that into account when assessing my level of kookiness. 
The bottom line that I hope uh, to share with you is this. I admit that it's very difficult to cull through the droves of disinformation and mistaken beliefs to find the legitimate theories. However, I've learned that if you're patient, you will actually learn things as rare as um, can be learned. What do I need to learn? What more do I need to know about the state? Why a, do I need to know? He's got a list know, of nine things here. <laughs> why do I need to know who the Bilderbergers are and what it is they're doing behind the scenes, behind closed doors? Why does that have any effect on what it is that I'm trying to do now? And what I'm trying to do is is uh, help people understand what liberty is and why it's valuable to them and have them do something about it. And I don't mean print out a DVD or burn a bunch of DVDs and hand them out to people. I mean get up, get off their butts, move to New Hampshire, and get active. For freedom. That's what I'm trying to do. So how is any of this going to help me with that? He goes on and says, I consider myself to be an expert in the events of 9-11. And if asked to make a um, large An expert bet- means he's done more research than you, right? Yeah, yeah okay. I, I would think that that's what an expert is yeah. anyway. Yeah. And if asked to make a large bet, I would bet that, one, almost nothing being shared in common truths about 9-11 is true. Two. And is, Including the conspiracy theories. It, uh that's not, I'd say those are relatively he's not common as common truths. Okay, uh, an Israeli secret exists, and one that would nearly shock Hunter S. Thompson. I don't know. I'm out of the are, loop on this. Right, I have no that. idea what the Israeli secret is. I mean, I guess that they, you know, that there's Zionists in charge, and that they wanted to see a, a nation of Israel. I don't know. Uh, Number three. The secret society, sometimes referred to as the Illuminati or the New World Order, is actually the most powerful organization in hundreds of years. So. <laughs> Psych- psychopathy there actually- are men with power out there and they're willing to wield it over people I don't care if they call themselves the Illuminati the Masons, the Bilderbergers or the Ronald McDonald fan club I don't care what their name is and they're doing it through people's belief in government that's what's, so, that's what's important to me that's what I care about psychopathy is actually more seri- more, a more serious condition than commonly thought psychopathy Okay. Number five is a Meaning gem. the condition of being a psychopath? Yeah. Okay. It's more serious than um, commonly Great. thought. Great. Number five, the moon landing was faked. Oh, boy. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this one's getting smirks. Hey, do you think I enjoy putting this out there? It doesn't get me laid, I can tell you that. <laughs> well, stop it then. <laughs> I love it. Hey, he, he does a great job with this email. The NWO, number six, the NWO is making huge strides toward achieving the de- so depopulation he's plan about this. That, you're sure, that I'm sure you've heard of. Yes, he is. Yeah. Seven, AIDS is a biological weapon developed in the U.S. and distributed in the U.S. and Africa under false pretenses. It's failing in the U.S. I mean, they're getting rid of it. Mm. it must be a crappy biological weapon. You don't think the Bilderbergers could have done a little better with all their trillions of dollars? Yeah. Cancer is communicable and curable. Okay. What? People have been cured of cancer. I know that. Yeah, but my dad and my grandmother both died of it. I didn't get it. Yeah. A cure for AIDS does exist in the form of a single injection. It was known at at the time that AIDS was developed. This is all what he's uh, researched. I mean, he's spent these hundreds things, of hours these researching are the things this. He's got. Yes, these, are, these are his stuff. conclusions. Okay. So those those are Great. his nine the, the nine pillars. Oh, it's over now. Thank God. <laughs> I'm going to stop there since I've got to shoot uh, over to my dentist and have these temporary implants looked at. Uh, they're new, and I'm waiting to uh, hear if you comment on air. And those that uh, he's got Im- implants. Okay. I don't know. Maybe their teeth. Maybe maybe they. You know. I don't know. Maybe he thinks they're some radio transmitters or something. I don't have any idea. Um, I think that it's a a great, great email. (laughs) Then maybe I'll uh, be inspired to actually share some of this uh, juicy and freaking juicy information with you. I swear the data is there and verifiable, and I am able to have healthy, intelligent conversations about this information and views on both sides. No, this isn't healthy. (laughs) He already admitted he doesn't get, he can't get women when he's talking about this stuff. I mean, it's okay if that's if he doesn't if he's not interested in having women, then okay. But uh, you know, just as an example, had we been the show that he wants us to be, he wants us to be this conspiracy show, right? There'd be no way I would be with Julia right now because she would have uh, never have been interested in listening to that nonsense. I'm with Julia right now because the first time she listened to this show was when we were talking about that Utah rave that was out in the, the mountains of Utah mm-hmm. that uh, the police flew in with a helicopter and uh, you know uh, decked out in camo and automatic weapons, and they came in there and they just absolutely terrorized these young people that were at that rave. And she is part of, uh, was part of the rave scene pretty heavily at that time. She was following that 
that particular story. We covered it on this show because we care about the plight of people that are doing things that we wouldn't necessarily be involved in. We care about the, the freedoms of individuals across the board, whether it's ravers or people that want to eat foie gras or trans fat or people that want to smoke marijuana or whatever. Whether it's something that we've engaged in personally or not, we're concerned for their freedoms. It doesn't matter who the individual was that ordered the raid. What matters is that there is there were people that had their freedoms oppressed. And we were talking about that on our show in a way that showed that we cared about that situation. And as a result, she kept listening to this program, and now she's here in New Hampshire with us. I can't imagine what kind of crazy women would be attracted to Free Talk Live if we were talking about uh, stuff like his is in his, his email. So, Paula. Yeah. 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 Uh, last uh, line. Thanks for the great work you do, and I hope that uh, some of the, that giant wall of smirk protecting you from the perception of the world is slowly falling away. That's right, because we're just living in delusions, right? Here on Free Talk Live. Living Thank in you a for your email, world. Peter. I, think I thought it was great. <laughs> uh, all right. It's Benny in here with you. And Sam, I am. And Mark. And you can join us online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. And in the meantime, between now and tomorrow night, we'll see you online at freetalklive.com. Join us for the live Saturday edition tomorrow night.